Used to play a lot in the late 70s, uh, 79, then 80. I would come from like a place known as Far Rockaway, Queens, because that's where I was born. And uh, through riding on the trains, uh, I became king of the A-line. And then I met people like Don D and Fat Five Freddy and, and Bada and Rocksteady Crew. I used to rhyme for them all the time because they needed an MC that could uh, rhyme to their breakdancing moves. And because I used to be a breakdancer, I could do it off the top of my head while they doing the move and stop the rhyme when the move was over. One, two, that's the on the go. what I would call the hammer. Uh, I would call that the, one of the first inventions of beat culture, at least in hip hop. Uh, you take the needle on the uh, turntable and bounce it up that up and down, you know? And that was always cool. Uh, then the human beatboxes came after that. Uh, speed rhyming was right in there. The, like the songs you heard me doing drag race, the third to the last song. That was one of the things I was very good at talking real fast. Uh, till you bite your tongue and then you're in a lot of trouble. Can't stop rhyming though. Blood can be shooting, don't make no difference. Just keep on talking shit. Rockin' in your mind, so hard, so hard, like a rubber wall. In a thousand miles, it's going to be galaxies. With the idea of uh, the costumes, uh, I ended up building more of them as for beat culture. Bar Shaw Gangstar, the one that's on the flyer, uh, that he's supposed to be a pimp. And uh, of course, you know what type of rhymes those are going to be either gangsters or they're going to be talking about girls just with credit cards slipped down the middle of their crack of the ass, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, that's where the money at. <laughs> you gotta remember that. The sampling started with me, would it be in Far Rock? That would be with uh, Sonic 002, uh, Inc. 76, uh, guys like Jamelzy, who gave me my first name, Ramelzy, except he spells it with one M, one L, and just a Z. And uh, he's from Reference Projects, and these were the places that I would hear them cutting tapes up, splicing them back together, and on the reel of reel doing it. Like that would be the first turntable if you looked at it that way, you know. Uh, then this dude, John Michel Basquiat, when I would go to New York City in the early 80s, he was doing the same thing, but he was mostly doing it with jazz music, like Miles Davis. So I don't know if that fits in there, but Miles Davis is definitely beat culture where I come from. So you, you heard the, the virtuoso of that, plus some Bach, you know? When that's turned into beats, it's just beautiful. Sampling people, I didn't really sit down and talk to them too much because I was doing a lot of math. And uh, a lot of the paintings I was doing, they kept me going to Amsterdam almost twice a year. So I really wasn't too much in New York in the 83 to 93. So I missed out on a lot of stuff. Yes.
Classic played with him uh, hundreds of times. Just uh, I don't see these guys off it. They got to find me and hope that I'm in the town when they do find me because could be you call me that day and I'll be saying, no, tomorrow I'm out of here again. So, you know, then people don't call you no more. You see. That's how you move away from the country. Mm -hmm. Got something else to do. <laughs> Keep the burners going, keep the rhymes uh, flowing, and uh, if there's anything else you can say out there that has uh, more intellectual cap capacity, please try to do it, you know, because we need some more of that. We can't keep having kids uh, keep thinking it's all about either blasphemy or anti-religion or even anti-pop. It should have some other type of flavor than it just being, I might as well say, just a black movement. There's more to it than that.